Taylor's parents for supporting their kids and getting him out there. Like I said, I'm always happy to see him in the water. They, they're just constantly frothing. Here we go. We're going to start the Super Groms Heat 3. Starting now, Van Taylor, Van Taylor, Morrison Parker and Louis Nutter. Just got to wait for Van to get out there. Again, I'd just like to say a special shout out to the Llewellyns up there that run the Sunshine Ghost Bodyball Club in conjunction with uh, Stevie Ma and Tim Oliver. Um, Kira was down here last year doing the commentating, doing an amazing job. She's always been a, a top athlete and a great representative to the sport. Um, I'm pretty sure she had uh, like Sports Star of the Year, um, you know, maybe a couple times, I'm not sure, but she's a... Uh, uh, an amazing person to have on board commentating last year for the event. That's Kira Llewellyn and Lloyd that runs the bodyboard club. Lloyd has just been doing so much for the club um, and for the Lindsay Connolly, uh, Lloyd and Stevie, uh, helping run all the events up there on the Sunshine Coast. Um, big shout out to those guys. Thank you so much for all the work you do. Um, it's priceless. It really is priceless, the, the work that you do. And same to the Gold Coast Bodyboard Club, the Bacillus and all the guys down here, um, you know, there's a lot that goes on behind the scenes and there's a lot of work packing up and setting up. And, you know, Lloyd and Kira and the whole family. Um, Bob, I'll give Bob a shout out. Hey, Bob, Bob Llewellyn. <laughs> like just such uh, positive people, very level-headed people to have in the industry. And um, I've known Lloyd and Kira and Lenny um, for a long time. And I just, just wanted to do a special thank you to them and a special shout out for them because they help support all these grommets and up and comers by making these amazing events happen. So there it is, yeah, thanks Lloydy. How you going Llewellyn family? Out in the water now, Van Taylor, heat three of these super groms. Got Louie on the inside here in the blue. Good on you, Louie. Right in the shallows, giving it a red hot go. Good on him. Like, these guys are really, really young. I mean, I don't think I actually started bodyboarding until I was maybe 11 or 12. So these guys are, you know, a couple of years younger again, and they're out there giving it a red hot go. There's Louie in the blue. Uh, Frank's little brother is, is that I'm aware of. Same surname, I'm not 100% sure, but I'm <laughs> putting two and two together there. And uh, Van, you see Van out, like he's so tiny. Like all these Super Grom competitors are, they're so tiny, but man, like it's just so cool to see him in the water. Just, they get some sick waves. Like they, and you know, they're trying for big maneuvers and landing big maneuvers um, with such a, with such a good family too. Like um, with Zaid and Jai and, um, and Van, you know, they're a great bodyboard family up on the Sunshine Coast. But currently in the lead, we've got Morrison Parker. We're just, Van was a little bit late to paddle out. He's right down the beach there at the moment, right down to the left. Um, he's been pushed down in that sweep, but he's out the back and he's paddling now. He's paddling for something I can see. Oh yep, white's out there as well. White and blue uh, at the northern end of the beach. Right, I think they're in the spot now. We've got Morrison and Van are both out the back, sort of sitting on this left-hander down there, just waiting for the right waves. If you're just tuning in, here we are for the Future Pros event 2023, coming to you from Chugan on the Gold Coast today. We're in heat three of the Super Groms. And coming up next, we'll have the semi-finals for the Cadets, which will be a really good one to watch. I'm pretty sure um, as a Hardy will be maybe in that one. He's won his heat in both divisions in Super Groms and Cadets. 
and he's spectacular to watch in the water. What, what an amazing Grom. Um, yeah, like 10 years old. It's next level. Hardy Fletcher, well done to him. Scoring some big scores, landing some solid moves at 10 years old. on the surface out there but there still is waves coming through it's a little bit straight it looks a little bit tricky out there especially for the super groms oh replay louis look at that say taylor running down the beach for the semi-final of the cadets which will be next heat in the water Louis getting a couple of little ones on the inside there, which is fantastic. Such such a young Grom getting out there. Oh, just looking over my shoulder again, I'm seeing uh, Tim Oliver and Shane McNally from All Antica Restaurant up on the coast. One of the sponsors of all the events. He sponsors the Lindsay Connolly Memorial Shootout and the Sunshine Coast Bodyboard Club. And him and his boys run a fantastic restaurant there at Kiwana, All Antica Italian Restaurant, and massive supporters of the club and bodyboarding in general. I always see them out at one of my favourite little secret spots on the coast. And they're just so cool to be in the water with, eh? They're very chill, very humble people. And um, I just love being in the water with them. You know, Shane McNally from the Sunshine Coast, up as I look over my shoulder with Tim Oliver, the photography. Big, big, big shout out to Inverted Bodyboarding and Convict, Convict Bodyboarding sponsoring this event today and making it happen. Wouldn't... Oh, Ryder in red with a little cutty. Oh, Ryder in red. Van, I think that'll be his first wave today. Not a bad wave. And we've got Ryder in white coming up as well on a little right-hander. But well done to Van Taylor in the Super Groms Heat 3 with a first wave for the day in tricky conditions. Ryder in blue getting a few little ones on the inside as well. Massive shout out to uh, Inverted and Convict Bodyboarding uh, for, you know, financially and morally supporting and just, it's just everything bodyboarding. Like, you know, they, a lot of these events wouldn't happen with, with these, without these guys, you know, the, 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 the stuff that goes on behind the scenes and the support with, um, you know, prizes and, and the organising and everything. Um, is presented by Inverted Bodyboarding today and sponsored by Convict Bodyboarding. Also, Dreamworld. Dreamworld is sponsoring the event and supported by Vintage Bodyboard Collector, Amazon Power, Surf Lakes, Tim Oliver Photography. And the Gold Coast Bodyboard Club. Currently in the lead, Ryder in white, Morrison Parker. We've got a bit of uh, construction work going on outside here by the sounds of it. Now, if you're just tuning in, we had Joe Clark, special guest, come down and like generate some froth for the grommets and, you know, give them some pointers out in the water and, um, you know, how, how to handle the, the heats and, um, you know, the the 
the strategies of surfing in a heat and how to get through. And it was an absolute privilege to have Joe Clark from the Gold Coast down here. Um, if you're new to bodyboarding, Joe's been around for a long time and is a very strong bodyboarder. Um, he's been in a lot of a uh, lot of media for videos and photos. Um, me personally have seen a, a lot of footage of Joe and he's very, very strong in the water. Coming from the Gold Coast, it was a privilege to have him down. Thanks again, Joe Clark, for coming down today for the Future Pros event for all the young Grommies. Showing your support, mate, you're a legend. Thank you so much for that. And it was a pleasure to meet you. So Morrison's still in the lead with a 3.07 and a 2.5 with a top score of 5.57. Van just needs a second wave. He's got the highest scoring wave with nine minutes rema remaining. At the moment, he's got the highest scoring wave. If he can get one more little link up, it might be enough to push him through to first position. Tapper in the background doing the beach commentary where it's always a privilege to have him on board. And absolute streaming. This wouldn't be happening without absolute streaming, this live broadcast. You know, if you guys are tuning in and watching, uh, you know, like and share this on as many platforms as you can and um, show your support for the industry, you know. Um, as many people that, that view this, it, it, it really helps, it really does, you know. It's just generating some excitement for, the, for these up and comers, you know. It's all about the future, the future at the moment. These guys are gonna be the, you may see their names on the board in the future. They may be the riders, you never know. Like there's a lot of guys that come from Gold Coast and Sunshine Coast that are some of the biggest names in the industry. Um, yeah, so keep your eyes peeled, guys, in the future. Seven minutes and 25 seconds remaining in heat three of the Super Groms. Round one, heat three, Super Groms. Currently in the lead, Morrison Parker. Van needs one more wave. Needs a 4.67 to push him into first position. And Louis sitting in the inside, picking off some little fun ones with a 2.57 and a 2.1 with a combined score of 4.67. Only needs a 2.11 to push him into second. Here we go, rider in white. A bit of a set coming out the back. That was Morrison Parker, the heat leader on that one. And there's a bit of a set and we can see him scrambling. They can see him scrambling out the back there. Don't know if they're gonna get a bit of a shoulder off this one, but Van just paddling over the top of that one. So stay tuned guys, we've got six minutes, just over six minutes remaining and we'll have the cadet semi-final out of the water next and it's gonna be a good one. The surfing should get better and better through the day as we, uh, as the competitors progress through to the semi-finals and the finals, you will see some more spectacular surfing
currently in the lead, Ryder and White, Morrison Parker with a 5.75. In second place, Van Taylor. And in third, Louis Nutter. Here we go, Ryder in red. Oh, nice little spin in the Super Groms. Van Taylor with his second wave with a spin and an incomplete reverse on the end section, but he's finally got that second wave. Here's a replay of Van Taylor, Ryder in red. That was just the end of it. He got a little forward spin on the start of it. All he needs is a 0.91 to push him into first, which is pretty doable. And a complete forward spin may be enough. Now, the um, the uh, semi-final for the cadets are on their way out. So stay tuned. The next heat is the semi-finals for the cadets. With three, just over three minutes remaining for heat three of the Super Groms. With in first position, Morrison Parker. In second, Van Taylor. We're still waiting for scores to drop on Van's second wave. There we go, the scores are dropped. Tappers just announced it over the beach commentary that Van Taylor has jumped into first position. We're just waiting for the update on the live stream. And Louie in blue in third. Well done, guys. So there is a priority that um, priority positioning in the heats today. So Van Taylor with a 5.67. The scores have dropped in a 4.67. With a total score of 10.34, putting him into first position. In second place, Morrison Parker with a 3.07 and a 2.5. And Louis, one of the Super Groms in the blue, sitting on the inside, scoring a total of 4.67. Well done, Louis. There is a bit of a cross shore breeze. The wind's picked up. A little bit here down at the beach but there's still some semi hollow left hand as that wind sort of hitting it and holding him open the tide is coming in that's right one of our major sponsors or one of our sponsors amazon power asahi sponsoring the event down here at the Future Pros. Big shout out to those guys. Um, they were nice to give me a nice sample this morning to get me through the day and it's amazing, superfood. It's so good, good for you and it tastes great. Amazon Power, there it is. Just under 30 seconds remaining in this heat. with Van Taylor in first position in white, Morrison Parker in second, and Louis in third in the blue. Well done, guys. Very well surfed in challenging conditions. Yeah. 